guys and welcome back to seeing it their way this is wellness wednesday if you've been hanging around here you know i missed last week and you probably also know why i don't know why i thought i would be able to record a wellness wednesday vlog on the week of my birthday when i was going out of town on tuesday make it make sense but anyway guys i had an amazing time celebrating my birthday in Destin, Florida with friends and family. And a vlog about that is coming on Friday. So go over there and check out all the fun we had. Some of the things I checked off of my 40 before 40 things list. Um, if you didn't know, I did a list of things that I wanted to get done before my 40th my 40th birthday. So the list consisted of 40 things. And I think I started that in January. And so I'm going to also do a recap video on that to show whether I accomplished all of those things or not. I guess this video kind of give you a teaser letting you know I didn't do at least one of those things. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. So technically, last week's Wellness Wednesday update would have been the one where I determined whether or not I hit my goal of losing 40 pounds before I turned 40. But since I didn't do it, I have to tell you now. So last week, no, I did not hit that goal. Um, so that's one thing I did not check off my 40 things before 40s list. I maintained the same weight last week as I did the week before. So the week before I weighed in at 318 and last week before I went on vacation, I weighed in at 318. Uh, I would just say Easter didn't help my cause at all. I'm going to blame it on Easter. <laughs> but let's get into this week's weigh-in. I always have to start at the beginning. On January 2nd, I weighed 351 pounds. This week, I weigh 322 pounds. That means I had an increase of four pounds from last week, but I'm still down 29 pounds from the beginning of my weight loss journey, which started on January 2nd. I kind of anticipated this weight gain due to the nature of my celebration being a beach, low-key, um, adults doing adult things, and little to no activity. So I'm okay with this four pound gain because that's like your weight loss journey is not going to be a steady decline, but I am still trending downward and that's what's most important. Since I started doing the Wellness Wednesday videos, I've shared with you guys all sorts of things um, that I do to promote wellness within myself and within my family. Um, and there's videos on all of them. And they're probably somewhere on the side <laughs> being recommended to you right now. Um, goalie vitamins, ginger tea, um, sauna. You know, I even purchased a bed for better sleep. So all these things I've shared with you. But I've never specifically had a conversation with you about my diet. Have you noticed that? <laughs> well, as of because I was trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do it and how I was going to do it. I always tend to go like towards the low carb. That's, that's just my nature to go towards. Oh, cut them breads out. And so probably like in January, that's what I was doing when I hit, I believe I lost like 13 pounds in January. Let me see. Yes. I lost 13.4 pounds in January. And that's when I was just like doing low carb. And in February, things just got like crazy. I don't know what happened, but I only lost 1.4 pounds in the month of February. By the end of February, I was like, okay, Yolanda, we got to figure out something that's sustainable for you, something else that you naturally do, but take it to another level. And so I started researching I do like naturally intermittent fasting, um, whereas like I don't eat breakfast. And so like my eating window would naturally be um, like a 16-8, eight, 
where I don't eat for 16 hours, but then I eat for eight. And that came naturally to me. Um, so I started researching more intermittent fasting schedules because if I'm naturally on one and that's not affect, affecting my weight loss, what type of schedule could benefit me? So I also thought about more about me and from the fasting perspective. I have practiced actively fasting. Um, I've done probably three or four rounds of 10 day fasting. I do three day fasting here and there. Um, about two years ago, because 10 days was always like my cutoff, like, oh, I can't fast any longer than this. I challenged myself to fast for 14 days and I did that. And, and I found that during the fasting, obviously I began fasting, not obvious, but I began fasting initially um, for spiritual reasons and for clarity. Um, because for me personally, when I do not eat or, or I made the decision that I'm not going to eat, it takes the stress off of making a bad decision about what to eat. You follow me? <laughs> so for me, fasting isn't difficult to do. Making good food choices is difficult for me to do, but fasting is not. Some of the other benefits of fasting are like autophagy, where it helps with your brain and also with the healing of the body, um, hormone imbalance, obviously weight loss, and a plethora of other things that I have listed here for your viewing pleasure. It all makes sense to me. Um, if your body isn't focused on processing, breaking down food, it can focus on healing itself, whether that be by reducing your blood pressure or clearing up an infection in your body or restoring your cells and combat all the things that are on this list. I, I definitely got to put it over here because I keep looking this way like the list is there. It's like I can feel it there. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I want to give my body a chance to do all of that things, to, to heal myself from the inside out. I'm not a big component of taking medication. Um, I do believe that the tools we need to heal ourselves were given to us, um, whether it be our own bodies or naturally. Um, so I'm going to give my body a chance to heal itself and to ward off the potential of other things on this list that I don't have currently going on in my body. So um, that's my thoughts on that. I stumbled across what people call rolling fast. And most common is like a rolling fast of 48 hours or a rolling fast of 72 hours. And since March 9th, I have been doing rolling fast of predominantly 48 hours. I say predominantly because when life steps in, like if I got invited to dinner somewhere, I would just adjust my calendar to where either it fits in a 48 or either I need to push it into a 72 hours fast in order to make it work in my schedule. Um, so, but predominantly I was doing 48 hour fast. So I've been doing that for seven weeks with the exception of the two vacations I went on. I went to DC, which there is also a video of that with my son in the early part of April the first week of April and then so that was like five days and then five or six days I just went to Destin for my to celebrate my birthday so within that seven week period when I wasn't on vacation I was doing rolling 48s so let me explain that a little bit more so let's say today is today is Wednesday so let's just use that so today's Wednesday if I eat today, I would eat between the hours of 6 and 8. And I would not eat again until Friday between the hours of 6 and 8. So although it says rolling 48, it's essentially fasting for 46 hours and a eating window of 2 hours to total 48 hours. So I'm basically skipping a day of eating and then only eating within a two hour window. Due to the nature of fasting, or at least the way my body reacts to fasting, I 
am not able to eat a ton within two hours. I get full pretty fast. Um, when I was calculating my calories, I wasn't limiting myself. I was just seeing how much I was consuming to see, you know, um, the amount of calories I would consume on a regular feed day. And no more than 2,200 calories was I eating, but usually it would be around 1,800 calories. But now I really don't count calories. I just consume food during my eating window until I'm like satisfied and make sure I eat a ton of protein, including a protein shake and vegetables. And I stop when I'm full. Most days I am cautious about the amount of carbs I consume. Some days I'm just not. March 9th was when I started. My boys' birthdays was March 17th and March 27th. And I had a piece of cake. To me, in order to keep it sustainable, I need to keep it also balanced. So as long as I, my trajectory is going downward before his weight loss goes, I'm just going to keep it balanced with what's going on in my life. I don't want to turn my life upside down for the sake of fasting. So moving forward, starting, I'm gonna think of March 9th to now as a test run. Can I do it? Is it something that I feel is sustainable? How does it make me feel? Does it feel like I'm missing out on things? Does it feel, you know, does it fit my lifestyle? It does fit my lifestyle. So, I'm going to say that today, April 27th, begins my journey doing rolling fast. For the month of May, I'm going to commit to concentrating on doing rolling 72s, which would be eat today, which is Wednesday, not eat Thursday or Friday, and then eat again on Saturday. Um, I've actually already started this process since I've been back from vacation. So I kind of started on Monday. <laughs> I haven't eaten or fed since Sunday. And so that's been Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday. I will not eat when today and I will eat tomorrow. Actually, me and my family are going out to dinner. And so I'll take you on this ride with me. So I guess we'll just say that this is week one of Yolanda of seeing it their way, doing rolling fast. Now in the month of May, there are some things that will come up and I will adjust accordingly. There's things like Mother's Day, Memorial Day. I don't have any vacations planned as of yet, but I'm going to schedule them into my schedule or schedule, schedule the fast into the schedule of life, put it that way. So although my concentration will be on doing 72 hours, sometimes maybe once or twice, I may need to do a 48 hours and I'm okay with that. And I hope you will be too, but I'll take you along on this journey. So feel free to leave any comments or concerns you may have down below, <laughs> comments and concerns. Um, but know that I'm excited about this process moving forward because I have been enjoying it for the past seven weeks. And so I'm looking forward to op more openly sharing um, my fasting experience with you guys. As always, you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you back here next Wednesday. I promise. I'll be here next Wednesday. Bye guys.